Hey Sneakies, welcome to Destiny, the latest game from Bungie, the creators of the Halo series. Over the course of the series, we're going to try to go as in-depth as possible and cover all aspects of the game, including the campaign, co-op, and even competitive multiplayer. Now for this first episode, we're very simply going to create our character for the series. Don't forget to click like if you enjoyed this video and you want to see this turn into a series. And become a Sneaky today by clicking subscribe so you don't have to miss another video ever again. I do hope you enjoy, here we go. And here we are on the class selection screen. So in Destiny there are three main classes to choose from. We have the Titan, the Hunter, and the Warlock. So we're going to go over a quick description of each of them and then make our choice. Titan, you are an armored engine of war. Control any battle with strength and strategy. So he has the following subclasses. Striker, smash the ground and dissolve enemies in a maelstrom of arc light. And then at level 15, Defender, shape Void Light into an indestructible shield to protect you and your allies from harm. So he's basically like a tank, he's up close and personal on the front lines. Hunter, you are a master of the frontier, stalk and kill your enemies with ruthless precision. And then the subclasses are Gunslinger, summon a flaming pistol which disintegrates enemies with solar light. And then at level 15, Blade Dancer, charge your blade with arc light and consume your foes with lightning. So she's kind of like the recon, the sniper, someone who's more of a supportive role. Not really in the front line, more or less there to help the tank out. Warlock. The universe bends to your will. Manipulate its energies to annihilate your foes. Yes, please. And then the following subclasses. Voidwalker. Hurl an explosive bolt of void light at the enemy, disintegrating those caught within its blast. And then at level 15, Sunsinger. Fill yourself with solar light, dramatically increasing the effectiveness of all your abilities. So the Warlock is basically another supportive role, only it has magical powers, and it can also become a healer of the group later on. Anyways, out of these three choices, I'm going to be going with the Warlock because he sounds like he's going to be the most fun to play as to me. And then the next step is to choose our species, so obviously class choice has an impact on the gameplay. However, this only has an impact on your appearance, it's purely cosmetic. And first up is human. You are human, hardy, and adaptable. Your ancestors rose from Earth to build an age of miracles. They're a pretty standard choice in these types of games, and I guess this would be the most realistic choice to go with too, if that's the type of playthrough you're going for. And next up is Awoken. You are Awoken, marked by the cosmos. Your ancestors took shelter in deep space, and it changed them forever. So this could be an interesting choice if you're going for something a little bit different than the standard human. And finally, Exo. You are an Exo, a self-aware war machine built for a long forgotten struggle. And the coolest factor stands out immediately. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a robot after all? And there are, of course, some female options to each of the choices as well for all of you ladies out there. And even some of you guys who like playing as ladies in these types of games for some odd reason. This was going to be my original choice. However, I just couldn't picture magic and a robot going together in my head. It just didn't work for me. So ultimately, I'm going to go with a human. And we are now back onto the human male. It's funny, every time you switch between them, it actually gives them a random appearance. Anyways, we're going to switch between all the different faces. Just get kind of an idea of what's going on here. And some of them actually do stand out immediately as specific races. They look a little bit odd with different colored skin though. Now let's go change his skin color. Oh, that is way too pale. You need a tan, sir. Alright, that's a little bit better. A little bit better. Then we'll match the lips up, that way it doesn't look like he's wearing lipstick. Not that we judge around here or anything. Now I'm just going to scroll through the faces again to get an idea of what they look like with this skin color. And playing them do look pretty odd, that guy looks pretty old. You know what? I'm going to go with this guy, he looks the best to me out of those choices. And we'll give him some blue eyes, a little too bright. Alright, that's a little bit better. Now here style, whoops. Alright, so he's bald right now. It's kind of like a weird mohawk or something. Alright, that one's not bad. Oh no! Oh! Okay, a little bit better. Eh, not too bad. Oh man! No, no, just no. Yeah, that doesn't work for him so much. Oh, that's a little bit creepy. Yeah, alright. We're gonna go with this one. This one looks the best to me. 
That's my favorite one. And we're going to give him some brown here. So let's switch between some of these. That brown or this brown? Oh yeah, definitely the top one. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It looks pretty normal. But for the marking, we're going to give him a weird look. <laughs> oh, that's really creepy. White out eye. Okay, that's like some camouflage. You blend in the jungle. I don't know what that is. That's a really cool white skull. That is awesome. White out the eyes. White out the whole top of the face. I don't know why. Alright, one eye. That's pretty cool. That's not bad. My favorite is definitely the skull, though. We have to change the color around a little bit to see how the other ones look. Ah, uh, you know what? When you actually make it dark, it actually doesn't look as good. So it has to be a bright color. Yeah, see, look. A bright color. Yeah, these ones all look pretty good. It's just when you make it dark, it looks horrible. That one's not bad. Ah, oh, see, it's horrible. It's dark. Ugh. Alright, you know what? I think white's my favorite one. That's the one I'm going to go with. Yeah, it looks really awesome. He looks fierce, yet at the same time, he looks like a nice guy you could have a good conversation with. Anyway, Sinkies, this will be our warlock for the series. He'll be my main character. I can actually make other characters for the other classes too, but this is going to be my primary one throughout the series. I am curious what different choices you Sneakies would have made though, so in the comments below, let me know exactly how you would have set your character up. Anyway, Sneakies, if you're as excited about this series as I am, leave a like to let me know, and also subscribe so you can see when the videos get posted, and I will see you next time for some more Destiny.